Welcome back to Animation Analysis. I'm going to take a look at Lucasfilm's Star Wars Visions. It's very cool. You got first one called The Duel. And you can see that it's going to be, um, as I'm progressing, you can see that it will be different styles. It's directed by different people. And it's cool seeing every time it begins kind of how it starts. A lot of times it's on stars. It is Star Wars. But then also kind of, oh, okay. This time, for instance, it's black and white. And you get to see all the little imperfections in here as if it was all scratched. You can see the dirt and maybe some hair on there it's kind of cool i like it and given the style i'm not going to talk too much about animation here and there i have some uh, some thoughts about how cool it is so it's going to be a bit of a mix of reaction and observations just kind of how cool the design is and all that good stuff so if you are up for that let's go the first episode especially has some really cool stuff and actually this one i'm going to play with the sounds on That's super cool. I'm sure you're going to be immediately demonetized. But what well, I like it is here is their take on Stormtrooper designs and designs of vehicles in general. It's just cool to see how, what their interpretation is of, you know, classic vehicles, classic costumes. But just in terms of shot design and looks and the layering, it's just really neat. Got, still got lots of details in here. This one has interesting stuff where the colors of the light, they have actual colors while the rest is black and white. So cool though. And I love seeing this here. Once you're in the interior, it's a different variations and styles where sometimes it's with armor, sometimes it's without. You get to see a little bit of the faces. Oh, so much work here. All those people getting up different ways. It's very cool though. And you got a little tiny glimpse at the villain. And then this is cool. Look at that. You got your flag. You got, you know, stuff like that. Poland's here. You got still costume. Then it's actual, you know, no, uh, no armor here. And you can see them in here. It's just cool. That guy see the face. It's really neat. Again, shot composition hiding here behind, uh, you know, set pieces and stuff. But it's cool. I love all this. You need some Banthas there or variations of it really cool now one thing though is that what i would not do is i wouldn't watch these in english if you listen to this in english are you really the chief of this village where this gets a bit strange in terms of village for the lip sync but then if you watch this and it's you know it's i switch over to japanese Then it makes more sense. So I made a mistake of watching it in English first, but I also wanted to look at stuff like this. I wanted to look at all the designs and not read subtitles, but I'm going to watch this again in Japanese just to get a better feel of just kind of how everything meshes together. Because every now and then the lip sync is a little bit distracting, but come on. I love episode one. The look is just great. And then as the uh, the uh, action starts here, I love how this guy gets hit in the back. Again, you can see changes in color here. But it's just cool in terms of overall action. You got your handheld 2D camera, classic boxes. But come on, look at this here. Just the designs in this. Then love this guy. Look at that. Love that he has still his kind of shoes. Oh, come on. Again, for this one, it's like every frame of painting. For this episode, awesome designs. Still really cool complex animation. Cool design again. Look at that fight sequence. Oh, that guy just cracks me up. Got a little bit of a, a reminder of some of the other episodes, let's say Mandalorian. So it has a bit of a mix of everything. Cool robots, flying stuff. That's going to be a common thing in this whole analysis as well. What they do in terms of vehicles and droids. And you got a glimpse at the villain. Again, every now and then some color. High heels. Okay. <laughs> That's how she's going to fight. But again, let's go forward here. This is cool. Ready? Oh, love that. Love that design. And then, that's cool. I love that. That mask here. Just getting composition. It's great. And then when she reveals her uh, fighting skills. Oh, what is this? Come on, look at that. Bunch of lightsabers. That's awesome. Awesome sound. Lightsabers. She's a Sith. She's a Sith. Every now and then, the writing cracks me up. It's every now and then a bit on the nose. Cool design again. But look at this. Again, I just love 
all this, like the, the, the combination of like existing things that we know, then, then Star wars -y stuff, and then creatures that we know. It's just such a cool combination, this first episode. That is cool too. Watch this here. Jump off and then fly. And then down into this. Let's go back here. Come on, that's cool. Love how this goes back in together here. And then the drop with this slightly hunched over. It's great menacing with just the little, the little choices of color. That's cool. This guy's freaking out. And there's an awesome moment here when she pulls him closer. Is then when she goes into the kill. I would have loved though when she does this. Little umbrella move to see like little cuts here. That would be awesome. Little dolly zoom in 2D. It's awesome. This guy goes crazy. That is awesome too. And watch this here. As he keeps shooting, look at this. Cuts it in. Let's play his potential with sound. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, this guy's not going to survive. And then as the uh, protagonist comes in here, that was a great shot here. I just love this. This idea of that is fantastic. And then look at this here. Ready? Just when you thought it was awesome enough. What? <laughs> How cool is that? That's really cool. I love this. Such a super intricate design. And I love that. Usually you don't see lightsabers inside of a, I guess, a sheath. Is that what you call it? Like whatever the housing of this. And in this series, it's all over the place like that. And it's great. It's a really cool idea. Then you have this here. I love that. You have that. <laughs> Those are effects. Again, slight touch angle there. Oh, it's awesome. Love that. It's all the... Like, it's somewhat CG 2D. You get some 3D looking things, but you got some cross hatching or some just, you know, like the life in the textures is cool. Also cool seeing that. Just a little the powers that they have. <sighs> got a little kick in there. <sighs> Into this and then ready. That's cool. I love this. All those slow little moves are great. It's been a long time since I so love this mask. I killed a Jedi. <sighs> That's cool. I love that little. Little slight little fake out slow <laughs> and that's cool come on that's super cool your lightsaber blade is red okay like i said sometimes the writing <laughs> is not the best yes yes it is red we can see it that's cool though we'll fake out into this and then it goes into back into awesomeness when he brings this in ready wait for it wait for it this <sighs> Get a little bit bright of Frankenstein for a moment there, but come on. That's so cool. And then they get back to fighting. And then towards the end of this episode, again, it's just I love the look of just generally the look of this, the characters. That's some really cool stuff where as he moves fairly slow throughout the show or this episode, you can see this here. Slow, you can think that's just how he moves with a slight beep, 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 reveal of this. Which then activates, spoiler, the droid. By the way, this is going to be full of spoilers. Boom. Love this here. And I love that. Get a little slight little handheldy look of this here. I love this guy. How he kind of leans in with this, the way the, the Stormtrooper costumes are broken up. Look at that droid. So great. This guy comes in. You got a little bit of a. What are they called? I can't remember. The flying something from Mandalorian. That's awesome. It's all very cool. It goes back into this here. And then... Ba -bam. The thing that every now that happens, it's not all the time, but for this, she is fully distracted. And he could absolutely just stab her, be done. But no, we have to have a little bit of, just in case you didn't get it, exposition. <laughs> not a huge fan of that. Because then, why is he then surprised and gets beaten slightly? Spoilers. I'm not going to go into full spoilers here. But like every now and then, it's a bit funny. But then in later episodes, actually, it's doing the opposite. But overall, a really, really cool first episode. Then you got Studio Colorido. Colorido? Tatooine Rhapsody. Also, the thing is, if you... I brought this up here, the little Google search. If you're interested in the companies here. So these are the companies responsible for all those episodes. And again, it's just cute because it's completely different. So as it starts, you get to see... Oh, okay. That is the style. You get to see the animation style, the complexity. Cool look, a little bit of a uh, Luke Skywalker layer action there when they're at the uh, at the edge of the uh, in the Death Star. 
And then, super cute. This cracked me up. So, okay, well, that's the style of this one. You see all those familiar creature designs. <laughs> Not the way you would expect them. Really cute. And as it continues to reveal the characters there, little uh, Jabba <clears throat> type slug there. That's oh, super cute. This character, three bodies here, or upper bodies that can turn around. You got this guy. And a lot of these have also really cute, like robotic sidekicks or just little cute characters. And I love, as you can see later on, like all the details and how they function. Just the designs are really cute. And then as this continues, we get to see, because you think that, oh, well, they're all like cutesy and young. Okay. And then it moves on to this. <laughs> it's like, wait, okay. Boba Fett, cute as well. And then the voice. I have business with the slug. Then it's actually the voice of the character that you can hear in the uh, live action show. It's the, it's the same voice actor or a uh, real actor, which is pretty awesome. And overall, a cute episode, a bit more uh, music, less fighting focused. And throughout, it's always interesting to see all the different lightsaber designs. It's pretty cool. And you have a little bit of a, a Wilhelm moment there. Ready? <laughs> and actually, I think it's the only time I heard it and the whole show, actually. Then we're back on familiar grounds. And every now and then it switches from like you would think that it's detailed 2D textures, but then it goes back into uh, slightly simpler textures into like full 3D. I am personally not a huge fan just because it gets very smooth in terms of like the camera moves and, and all that stuff. But it's not huge. It's not a huge break throughout the whole show, just every now and then. But then it's cute where we get to see familiar characters it's just in those designs that seem kind of sad though <laughs> they have a bit of a uh, not a happy uh, happy life there that's cool though i like that as a shot this massive massive view there and you can see jabba let's move forward here you can see him again classic old designs he does a little frog eating then we get to see familiar designs you get panthers and you get just locations that are really cute you got that part from uh, the prequels during the pod race where you get to see again classic designs all over the place this guy as well you got the bands this time the band is listening to another band so lots of cute stuff there i love familiar locations one thing that cracked me up as they are playing their song this y'all seem so sad and so shocked at this episode but it's cute that he actually likes the song. And if you look at Boba Fett, just look on the right side. It was cute. That's a really cute moments in that episode as well. Episode three is called The Twins. And The Twins, again, let's wait. I always love this. I'm going to let this play it out. How it starts, stars. But you can see how there is darkness, which will remind you of Rogue One. There's a cool reveal. And I'm not going to keep playing. Fast forward, you can see this here. And you can see again a slight uh, style change just in the more graphic shapes. Then you got a Gemini class reveal of a Star Destroyer, which is kind of cool. Again, the twin aspect and then going into almost a bit of a 3D set into the characters. But cool design. That is cool. This one is definitely, you want to pause on every frame and look at, okay, these are the Stormtrooper designs. Look at that. That's pretty neat. That's your one twin. Going into that, you got a little extra droid in almost every episode. But definitely see just the, this this change of design still with the familiar uh, designs of the Star Wars universe. Especially here when you have the incredibly unsafe walkway. Classic. And then reveal of the other twin. And again, just the design is really neat. There's something going to be really funny about this and her towards the end. But that's cool. I love this. It's almost like old style Nosferatu vampire type thing really cool a lot of still images as it is in this style so it's not always super complex although it gets fairly complex towards uh the fighting sequence but again just the silhouette and composition and just the colors lots of cool stuff and this i'm going to actually pause through as it explains spoilers how uh the twins this goes actually backwards with the kyber crystal power going back and how they were created this is cool though this is like there's some images every now and then in some of the episodes where you go that's cool i would love to explore that even more and some of them even end where you think okay we'll need another episode within that same story but cool stuff here so towards the end this is again spoiler i love that they're keeping that thing from the jj star wars and beyond where you see force powers actually holding blasters these are stun blasters not you know actual fire death blasters there that's awesome come on i love this let's watch this again here slight move it's a 
great pose in there. It definitely gets more complex, and as you go forward here, just before we get to the fighting, there's a cool moment. Again, I always want to see, oh, cool, what are their design interpretations of the ships? You got even like a Jedi Starfighter in there. So you got classic A-Wings, you got all kind of different ships, you got your Y-Wing in there. It's pretty neat. You got a little glimpse there. The crates, again, classic. And then you got stuff like this. Yes, the fully <laughs> hit move of the chicken walkers, which is pretty cool. It's a great frame as well. Come on, look at this. So definitely always a bit of a style in each episode or a style change, which is neat. And you go sometimes from more like the limited style where like the hair is moving, but the rest of the face isn't. Too awesome. I love this look here. To a bit more complex movement in the ships. You see that at the end as well. There we get into awesome stuff here. Come on. That is cool too. Ready? I love how this swirls into this. That's the cool stuff about 2D when you got very exaggerated 2D effects. Awesome. Come on. That's cool. Love explosions in 2D. The effect stuff is just great. Love this here. There's some banana stuff later on in terms of how they are outside. I mean, you would think there's a helmet. Can be protected once you're outside. That's cool. I love this though. Love that. Great design. And now as the twins are exposed, they are on the ship. So there's some cool fighting here too, where you want to go frame by frame and look at all the different poses. There's a great moment afterwards as well. But definitely getting a bit more exaggerated. Love all those different... You can see how background pops in terms of the moves and everything. Love this. Love that scramble. Let's go forward here. Going from this. Ready? That's a great line there into that. Just really popping from pose to pose into really exaggerated poses. It's great though. It's so cool to watch. Details as well. When you go back to this one. Look at this. At this point, she grew, I think she has two arms and multiple extra arms, something, something. But then again, no masks. They are out fighting in space. But why not? That's also pretty cool. Look at this. I mean, again, I'm going to go through uh, lots of spoilers here. This is the frame I want to stop on. Ready? Gets in there and you got that stretch out frame there with the leg. That's pretty cool. Come on. Yeah, there's some really great moments throughout the whole show where they really push this one more than others. And then, as I'm just going to skip forward here, you have some <laughs> great poses. As they fight, he is at one point on the ship. There's a lot of exposition dialogue in this one as well. Got the lightsaber there. And then he is riding on top of the X-Wing. <sighs> Although, I love this here. That's so classic for that style. What is this? Really neat. But again, you got to get used to... Wait, what? Okay. That's a cool shot, though. Very long lens. And then, spoiler. As Love this, by the way. Oh, every now and then, a classic look from the movies. Reinterpreted in 2D. And then, you got a bit of a Last Jedi action in terms of... You'll see it later on. But there's some crazy stuff through here. Look at this. Broken. Goes through there, but no cut. She has a kyber crystal in here that powers a suit. Spoiler. <gasps> Breaks. <sighs> and then, <sighs> Last Jedi style. <laughs> Just some really great moments in there, I gotta say. And then exit. And then the weird thing is that... <laughs> okay, so the droid, who probably doesn't need oxygen and air, has a protective bubble, but then she doesn't. Anyway. Cool, though, how the hair goes around it. There's some really cool stuff. Again, that's your last Jedi moment there. And this is cool, too. As it crash lands. Just a cool design. Cool look here. Although, every now and then, I wonder, the silhouette is kind of wonky? Kind of overlappy, and then the fingers are right there where the joint is. The kind of tangents. Like, I don't, I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyway, that is cool. Ready? Ready? That is cool. She is my twin sister. It's really neat. Episode 4, The Village Bride. Again, different styles. Stars. <laughs> but we go down. Let me just go further. You can see just the foliage. Again, 2D versus CG versus just overall detail. We get straight to an awesome helmet design. I don't like... Throughout this whole series, I was going to go awesome. I love this. Like 2D techy stuff. 
Ah, oh, love it. And then the cool thing too is that you think it's a lightsaber, but it's a lightsaber with a cable. No, it is not. But the cool thing too is that as this progresses and he takes the helmet off, it's not this helmet starts like this in live action movies where the helmet goes back and then magically disappears behind it where it's like, wait, it's just the scale is just, it just scales down and disappears. This is cool where it's actually opening up. It has this mechanism here. And then it stays. I like this. I know it's a potentially silly detail, but I love all that stuff here. Also, a fascination of mine is food in 2D. I think there's somewhere there's, a, I thought, either on Twitter or somewhere I saw a super cut about food, animated food in 2D shows and movies. It's great. This reminds me of Mandalorian. I don't remember where, I think it's Mandalorian where I saw this for the first time. Something like that. With those legs backwards. But I love all the different droid designs in this show. And definitely the sound design throughout is really great. So that's your, you know, clearer look at the designs of the characters. You get some uh, episode one or prequels influences in terms of uh, the droids, but then it goes back more into kind of the Mandalorian style. But there's some cool stuff here. Look at this. It's almost like a reused shot from episode one. Fire. So every now and then kind of, that flashback's kind of re reminiscent of, of the live action movies. Cool designs though. And they're very intricate in terms of all those lines. So I believe these guys will be done in uh, in CG. Sorry, I was already drawn back into the show. Got your villain. And then again, we're getting into blast of fire and the blaster held by powers. I just like that. I like that I kept that from the, the JJ movies. And then it gets a bit of a reveal of da da da. The Jedi with a nice hand pose. And then this here. Love this here as he still holds on to it. Like it's like the pain and the and the injury is not immediately gone. I'm always a big fan of yeah, consequences that stay on for at least a couple a couple shots. Sometimes you see movies, a character is crying, is sad, cut to the next shot, and they're just completely normal. Like the emotion's completely gone. So love that. That attention to detail. You can see here the detail in them turning. I compare it to this, right? You got the detail of that compared to this, and especially the preservation of like the model, like the form and the scale and everything. This looks probably more as a CG thing, especially like on turns like these. You definitely got all the Roger Roger sounds on that. You got your other character back. <laughs> love this, love that pose too. It's like, yeah, like slightly relaxed, not super concerned about the incoming fire. Yeah. Love this though, in terms of the getting up. Is it on the, on the older side? Just using this to prop up. It's your gate, like weight assignment slash get up assignment. It's kind of neat. This too, in terms of again, 2D effects that I love, but this here, cool design, somewhat falcony. But I love that the explosion actually lifts up oh, the ship. It's cool detail. But anything like this, 2D FX style, I just love looking at this. That's cool. Power down. And then you can see, actually, some cool physics there in terms of, or even through here, the complexity of how they power down. Just that downwards move with a bit of a... And even this guy. You can see how it goes back a bit, and that's then the buckling of the knees. Even this. Nice little complexities there. And this is super cool. I love this here. When ready, I am a Jedi. this turns on. It's great. I know it's silly, but I love that stuff like that. It's great. Then you see this, and you think, oh, it's your classic lightsaber, but yellow. It's also a bit of a ray lightsaber. And then, oh, no, it's like a flat sword blade. That's cool. And then there's something that cracked me up here. So as she gets ready, I love this here. You think, oh, that's it. You got this ready? Kling. Let's go back. Kling, kling. I love it. And that slight little lift there. Getting ready for. Uh oh. Lost the hands. Also interesting. Sometimes you have some moments where, you know, left to right, establish where they're looking and screen direction, but then it kind of switches. But she was going right to left. I don't. Every now and then that kind of happens. But it's not super confusing, I have to say. It just happens every now and then. Also, cool ship design. I had to include that as well of that episode. 
definitely getting more <laughs> limited where it's basically a still image. Although, let me get a better look at that ship a little bit here. At the end, watch this. A bit more detail, has a nice little float into the end. It's actually neat because before the translate stops, you want to rotate over. Then you got that little wing. It's pretty nice. And that's it. Episode 5 is the ninth Jedi. Again, go forward. What's the beginning? It's actually fairly... Uh, actually, I skipped it because it's stars again, but it goes on for quite some time. But then you see this here. This is kind of cool, I got to say. Because you think, what is this? They talked about Kyber crystals again. And then this comes out. And you think, wait, is that a cool ship? But no, <laughs> it's not. It's actually something that holds on to this. You wonder, okay, what is the scale of this? And then it goes back. And I'm skipping parts of the beginning and I'm cutting straight to this here. Where you see the planet and then you see this. And that's the stuff that launches it. That's pretty cool. And they go on and they go on. Again, the designs are really neat. You get a little tiny little hut there. Or just a little house, what do you want to call this? And then as it comes back, you get a bit of a better look. I mean, you saw it before, but this is the look of the style of the show. The characters, character detail, lots of cool cloth. You got your super cute little psychic droid throughout the whole show. Really nice details though in this one. It's also a really good episode. I really like that one. It's great stuff there in the cloth. Just the flow of this. Little floatiness there. It's great. And now she gets on this. And again, if you if you listen to this, the sound design and the music is really, really neat. You get a better look at the other character. As always, I want to stop on like intricate mechanical things. And it's a better look at the lightsaber and the inside. It's pretty cool. Also, this, when he clicks that in and turns it, it's very satisfying in terms of sound design. Definitely you want to listen to that. That's pretty cool there. And also, what a little slight handheldy keep alive. Sometimes it's super subtle, but it's there. Also, cool design. Love this here. All of that. Just so cool. I would love to see a really nicely done art of book of this whole show. Again, I love that little turn with a slight lean. And then when she gets off, because she gets. More, there's more weight on this as one leg lifts and she shifts over. It's cool though. Like this. Oh, stuff like that. I know this is like somewhat analysis and mostly me going so cool. But I mean, if you watch the trailer, you know Star Wars Visions. This is going to be just the cool factors off the charts. I do love stuff like this though. Fascination of cloth in 2D. Just how she takes that off. The poses are great. I think that the complexities of the crossover with those arms. Super cute too. Look at this guy. Aw. So cute. And then lightsabers. More. Hold on. Switching over to another movie. Look at these. You know a lot of people are going to freeze frame on that. And start to cosplay and replications of these. It's pretty neat though. Gotta say. Cool stuff too in terms of how that character. Spoiler. How they are connected to the force and everything. It's kind of reflected in the lightsaber in terms of length. And also color. And as she progresses throughout the show or that episode... The color changes as well for her. Spoiler. It's pretty cool though. Super cute. Love this too here. Like the, the, It's not immediately cutting to what's coming. But you got that moment of the shadow. And then the reaction. And then them reacting. like that big lead up into what are we seeing. And then to the ship. And also, this is super nerdy detail. But if you look at the window here. I don't know if you can see this in the... In the you know, from my recording and the compression and everything. But... There's like extra dirt and almost like, I don't know to say spider webs, but it almost has that feel. I, mean, I don't think you can see this there, but when you watch this properly, so every now and then some really nice details in the show. That's also cool. Again, just like the, the, the mechanical aspects and designs of all this. So cool. And then, yeah, yeah. Cool designs as well. There's something about cloth, like I said before, in 2D. And I love how long they linger on this, on how this actually works and how he puts it underneath. 
and starts folding it. Which is very satisfying to see. And there's a cool moment too here when he goes around. Like that as a shot, if you if you're a student watching it, like what should I do in terms of characters when they do um, you know any form of dialogue? It's like when you go back to the other shot here. Actually, let me bring the other shot back, uh, back up again. Is this? I love that she talks. She says all that stuff here while doing this. So the secondary action, like that that normal day to day business as you deliver a line, it's always very satisfying to watch the animation. So it's not just the character standing in an empty room or at least in a set, but then just deliver a line. It's just kind of boring to watch. And that is just cool that it's just more real life. They would talk as they go about their business. So when you do this here, it's the same idea. They talk and he has that go around. She puts her arms up and they still talk. I don't know, it's just a great little moment. I like that in this, in this, uh, this moment there. A lot of moments there. <laughs> That's great too. Come on. Locations. I love stuff like that. Just close-ups this i know it's super nerdy but I, I would love just again an art of book all the vehicles all those guys what is this design i love those little tiny fingers holding this it's great and that again liquids food but i love this you're ready i think what what is it doing i mean sucking it in there and then into that i don't know this cracks me up she's so cool i really really like this this was awesome too in terms of she's in a hurry she's got to get somewhere spoilers somewhat and this guy because <laughs> he said before i'm on a break I think okay i guess i'll go that slow walk ugh. i love that she just come on ugh, i love that it's great it's a great in a way a wait assignment but it's a great little acting moment of at least in terms of her personality it's come on come on i want to push you forward to get faster and it's slippery there with this just that little detail on that as well lots of cool moments also again in terms of designs spoilers but how this guy actually let me go back here you see the little intricacies of the, the lines forming and then this opening and then the reveal in terms of what kind of pose it is and then how he gets out very neat da, da, da. very cool design again but let's switch over to episode six that's t-o-b-1 it's almost like toby and a totally different look again I and mean, then we play this out and you go oh my god this is cute love the colors again i'm immediately looking at like little mechanical things like what is their interpretation of the star wars world in terms of mechanics and droids it's how he gets in there floaty pieces little extra droids there wait but then this is walking oh and then this comes out I just love this super like, painterly, you know, like bleeding into each uh, into the colors. It's just a really cool look. Got little Astro Boy. It's got your presentation of the two uh, main characters. Super cute. And then this cracked me up. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> what is this turn? So cool. Classic, classic droid there. That's the funny thing. Like every now and then, look at this. It's real super cute. Every now and then you see like what is the design, but then with classic elements from the live action movies, it's just really, really cute. Ships, again, I want to freeze frame on ships and just the interior, all of this. It's a cute episode too. Actually, once you get towards the end, I'm going to show this here. Super cute. And then the ship. But then we switch over to another classic ship. And I like this as we get in here. Just the interior. How the lights turn on just all those details love all that that of course story-wise spoiler triggers this this is in this style's world's uh design of a star destroyer and planets very cool <laughs> and super chunky cute stormtroopers and you get a little bad guy which i'll get to the uh, to that one later but the other thing that cracked me up was that you see all this is all super cute and I kind of skipped a couple of scenes, but you can see that he's actually spoiler. The Jedi here, he can move things around. You go like, okay, he doesn't really move his arms. Like, wait, wait a minute. And then you go forward, another actually known uh, ship design there. And then when this happens, you go, wait, there are no arms? Was that because of the battle or are they just inside things? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, let's move over to massive spoiler. As they fight, a little guy, other droids here, and the bad guy. 
pretty cool. That's not the actual dinosaur. This is from a, like a you know a damaged look, but this is pretty neat. Got the force into into this. Ready? Oh, almost missed. And then you got this here. Look at this. Ah, super spoiler. But this is pretty cool. You get to see the face there again. Just the, the original design when it gets revealed is different. That is pretty bananas. Oh, through the hands. And then, oh, oh, little ghost in the shell style. Boom! This guy's freaking out because the droid is a Jedi. What? Then you got your lightsaber design here again. Oh, take that in the face. It's pretty cool though. There's some really fun stuff there with the little droids and the overall fighting. Oh, poor guys. <laughs> Spoiler. And then this here, how they have this. Let me see here. This guy detaches, opens up, and then goes around it. Shoulder pads. What? That's super cool. Into more spoilers, but I want to show you this here. Oh, into this. I, I'm a sucker for moments like these here when it's done. They're resting, and then you see the aftermath of, of what just happened twice here spoiler but anyway i'll leave it there and move on to episode seven and episode seven is called the elder fast forward here and the reveal is actually not stars it's it's this here now the bummer about this i have to say is that you have this that it's not either in here the slight highlights there that would have been kind of cool but it gets your uh, gets your look at the characters the style of it. That guy's actually not too bad in English. And funny enough, in Japanese, he sounds so much older than the face. I don't know. That's just me. But cool. Cool seeing again. Knobs and switches and lights. That's pretty cool. This is also neat in terms of designs in terms of creatures. It's pretty neat. Ships. That's a cool ship design. Holy macro. I love this. And then as you move forward here, you can see actually how big this creature really is. It gives me some uh, kippo vibes there and then you get a reveal of the bad guy you're already kind of surprised in terms of the size there's some really cool stuff there get ready <laughs> this cracked me up too say so, okay well this is you know a little bit of a go back here a certain amount of cloth okay i mean i guess i guess so when you open this up this seems huge <laughs> this is huge but the cool thing is this here again different lightsaber designs what did they do with this? Ready? He seems very tired. Let's go forward here so you don't see all this. He gets ready. Doing much shorter than you thought, but it's cool though. I like that. All those design details are pretty neat. He gets there. That cracks me up. I dropped my pants. Wait. What? But anyway, that's funny. I love this. But pretty cool too, though, where you think that now that they're going to start fighting, it's actually it cuts to, besides this being awesome here, those two shots, when he's ready, he's framed super low. It's an interesting choice to be that low, but then it's because he's actually that low here. And it's pretty cool too in terms of this. I love this, how calm he is with that little slight grin, like, yeah, into this. Definitely a specific style there with your hang time into this but let's move on to more of the fighting it's this here when he comes in again i mean every frame of painting type of thing so cool all of this here i mean i'm drawing just you know arbitrary lines here but i just love the composition the look of this get some classic sith style powers look at that face and then as this continues on ready you got this here little distraction of this and now because of the distraction, he looks totally away. The character actually acts on it. <laughs> he actually does something. Oh, brutal. Pretty cool, though. But it's one of those moments where, like, yeah, you should have done this. He was distracted. Ouch. And that's cool, too. Watch out. Go scrub forward a little bit. Like, ah, that was done. This here. He just has a little self destruct. You get a full view of the ship. It's a cool ship. And then my favorite. 2D explosion designs and animation. Oh, I love this. 
And then when he looks back at him, it's also awesome. Look at this. <laughs> it's already bleh, done with this. Pretty awesome. Overall, a cool episode. I really like this one. Now, speaking of liking, episode 8 here, Lop and Ocho, is also really cool. So again, intro to what is the look going to be? I mean, we fast forward a bit. Stars. And this one's a bit tricky. This one, Star Destroyer comes in, shoo, hyperspace, and then it's like, is that the ship's movement? Or is it the camera movement? It's tricky because with something where you just have a ship and stars, it's not always easy to see. Not sure if that's super, super successful. I'm being super picky here, but it's cool. Once you get into here, we understand, okay, that is the camera move going into this here. And then you get to see this. Again, slightly confusing way. Is this going through the water? Is it close to the water? Even though that's cool looking. We get very, very close. And I would love to see more of the world. Like, what is this? Okay, bridge to what? What? So I can frame through this. But as you watch this, it's a bit of a bummer in how close we are, how we speed through these moments through there. But then you get this here. You get the reel of this. And ever since Rogue One, I love seeing a Star Destroyer like so close to the surface. Love all this. Look at this. Just the design of that is really neat. <sighs> Going through this is cool. You get a slight glimpse of your characters. Again, animation style and the physics of it all. It's very neat. Love this. Love seeing like, it's like almost like a normal city. But then you got your Star Wars elements in there and you get to see what their interpretation of uh, Stormtrooper designs are, which are cool. Definitely reminiscent of Rogue One there. And then you get, I love this. Like, you know, that's cool, cool, cool. Wait, these are classic alien designs. And another little sidekicky robot. Let me frame through and stop just quick. Cute holds on to this. It's a cute design. Love the colors as well. Shabu. And then you're going to see you get physics and how they move in this world. And then reveal of the character. It's a great episode. Love the designs in this one as well. As in like character designs and set design as well. Like this here's cool. I love that here besides these guys. When she runs, just enough time spent on the recovery. Slide. Ugh, and then get out. I think that's really cool. And it's a, you might say it's a simple thing, but I love that it's not rushed through. She's also really upset. It just kind of adds to that moment of ugh, being upset. It's really neat. And again, neat designs. And again, we have here lightsaber. There's another shot later on. We see much more detail. It's a bit more in the, you know, in the light, not in the shadow. But cool too. Nice. That's a dad. It's very good dad. Again, just overall, really neat look. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm going forward two more clips here. But that's cool too. I love how you got that, like the skin bulging here. And then we do that design. They give a bit of a backstory of what is going on. I love this here, that little thing here that activates that extra little... You see this before that, which you can see like a heat seeking, and not heat seeking, but kind of see a thermal look through that. It's a cool little design, but this is cool too here. So as she doesn't escape, but she gets to a place in a hurry. I love this. I love how she goes into this crashing, launching her forward. It's a bit in the dark here, but still a neat pose. Opening the umbrella, Breath of the Wild style. And these are cool designs again. Slight little TIE Fighters there every now and then. You got a glimpse of, oh yeah, Star Wars. Nice. Corvette style old designs here. And then you got this. Watch this here. Oh, actually, let me play this with the sound on. Very cool. Demonetized, but it's awesome. Also, the sister, I mean, spoiler, she cuts the hair and puts some blood here for makeup, and then she gets into that costume. That's awesome. Some neat designs, though. Again, I mean, this whole, this whole, I mean, every episode, the whole show has a lot of really cool just prop design, costume design, set design, production, just everything is really neat. And in this one, so I'm going to go forward here. Definitely fast moves, but I love this. Also, again, the layering as they fight. Even just this, I love. I just love all of this. The worn look of this. Then into that. Again, classic Star Wars design cues there. And he is distracted, and she acts on this. And she doesn't even wait. I love this. Again, 
too many times in movies <laughs> they distract like well now go do your thing but then they don't she's very angry towards the end i have to say but look at this oh i love this all those designs art of book come on i want an art of book this is so inconsequential, but to me, she seems fairly close, unless it's a really long lens. But then when she does this here, <laughs> as she jumps, ready? What is the distance of this? Okay, but that's cool. Oh, look at this. That's cool too. Get a good look at the actual usage of the lightsaber. She's not super happy about this. Again, every frame of painting. Love all this here so cool and then actually as we continue here i love this here is that just from an acting and just kind of animation point of view is that she lifts her arm obviously also with you know the influence on the shoulder but it's framed where you can kind of see okay that's the weapon she's getting ready for something i don't know but i love this type of framing where the gesture is not you know it's not like we we, we pan over to see the arm it's just there that's what the actor did and we just happen to frame it like this again like spider verse has a lot of that which i just love and then as the little poor guy comes forward, that's what that arm was for. She's ready, ready to strike. That's really neat, I love this. Again, that type of stuff. I love seeing like crumble metal and just that type of design is really neat. Love this, how it switches to a silhouette. That's a cool pose. Maybe so slightly offset and changing with the offset on the feet as well. Then Akakiri, Akakiri. But the music is great in this. You're wondering, what is this? How big is this? And then we switch over to <gasps> B-Wing. Those are cool designs. Every episode, when it starts, you can see, what are the designs? That's cool. Look at that. That's a cool guy. I love it. And then you get to see, again, that style of a lightsaber in here. More like, like a blade in there. That's cool, too. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even notice that when I was watching it. This is cool, but this, the bending. <laughs> Love that they fight on those creatures. That's the other character. You're gonna get to kind of see, kind of, it's a little bit swimmy as things kind of move around. It's very specific to this episode, that style. But then I love this. I love, like, not that it's mechanical, this is holographic, but like how things form and appear. I love stuff like this. And as you move over here, love these guys. These guys crack me up. Fun designs. It's almost 3 p r 3 but... I'm searching for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, too. I love this. How he kind of... Oh, searching for you. And then how he goes and leans back. Ah, they're so much fun. Again, creature designs are neat. Classic. You almost look like a speeder. Going through. But that's cool. That's cool, too. I love how it's, it's very big and vast. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of room here. And then they're hidden here. <laughs> All super tight. It's cracking up. Again, you want to look at these. These are cool. Love that. All of this is so cool. Cool designs again. Look at this guy. And then, spoiler, as we get to the antagonist here, she's super cool. He's got nightmares and headaches and stuff like that, which, look at this. Ah, it's a bit too dark, but it's cool, 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 cool. These designs here, the costumes captured it's very cool and i love how the next one she turns around here hold on let's go forward this just that turn and then the sit with that one arm with that slight lean these guys are great super cool and yeah i mean i'm going to spoil even more but that is star wars vision so if you go to disney plus you get it right there you got extras in terms of filmmaker focus there's some cool stuff i haven't watched yet i would definitely want to go through oh i click on it on this here, let me go back. You got the filmmaker origins. You got the dual filmmaker focus. Again, you got you get to see if some behind the scenes. Again, I haven't watched this yet, so that's gonna be up next. In terms of episodes, like I said, you got nine of those. You can see here one to nine. And details. What is this here? This is just kind of explaining what it is, and then suggested obviously here. So that is that for my kind of overview impressions commentary analysis something something i hope that was somewhat uh i don't know if it was entertaining or helpful but it was really cool um i'm a big fan i have to say i'm a big fan of nine eight and seven there's some cute stuff in six five was really cool too and one was really neat the other one's not super my thing two and three i have to say although four had some cool stuff as well like overall it, it was 
very impressive in terms of the designs and as you can see here the character designs creature designs robot designs all that stuff is really really cool so i would watch it let me know what you think uh, if you watch it comment i'm curious what you think about the overall style and the look but that is it from me and uh hopefully i will see you in one of my next clips thanks